Hello guys, welcome to an After Effects tutorial about adding 3D text to your scene. I'm your host, William Duncan, and here's the finished product. Okay, what's going on? What are you doing? Oh, placing text on the ground. You never knew you could do that? Oh, oh, let me try. So first what you're gonna do is drag your clip into your comp, obviously. And then next, so, I'm going to uh, trim it to the time you want. So you do this, you press B to get the beginning, then go to wherever you want, and hit N. Then right click and trim comp to work area. Now what you want to do is, like, this is really shaky, so go to warp, stabilizer, I always do this to make my shots look way better. Hit 10%. I have a whole tutorial on this. Detailed analysis and enhanced reduction. And now you're just going to wait. Okay, guys, now since you're done, this is what it should uh, look like. It Sometimes, if you look, it might blur. And you could fix, you could just make the text blur like that, but since this is a tutorial, I won't. So then I'll, then you, since my, I'm pretty slow at this, so I go 50. There, I just sped it up uh, times 50. So mine goes faster, that's better. Now, since you're going to add your 3D camera tracker to this scene. And you can't do it with stabilization. The warp stabilizer won't let you, so you go. Mine did because I deselected it, so command command shift C. Or I press command shift C, or you can do layer precompose and then name it. And now you don't have it up here, so now you can add your 3D camera tracker. And wait for that to finish its duty. Like this. I finished my track. And for this, you want nothing lower than 1.8 or 1.6. And so if you, I usually, last time I did this, I had 70. So I'm just going to press detailed analysis and see what I get. So now after doing detailed analysis, I see that it bumped down to 87. So if you have like a really high number, you press that, then you change this to whatever your scene is in this. But since I'm pretty good right now, then I can't see any rainbows. So just turn up my size and holy cow, that's way more than I thought. Um, okay. Um. So now what you're going to do is find the area where you want your text to Once you find it, you right click, set ground and plane origin, right click, create text and camera, right click, create null. And then after you did that, drag your null to the bottom. Then you have your texts. Use the text tool, double press it, and write whatever you want. There, now just, now what you want to do is turn it off. And then what you want to do is command Y, then write element, or go layer new, new solid, and then hit OK. Then you're going over here. 
Blah. And then after that, you go to custom layers, custom text and mass, then hit whatever layer it is. Mine sup. Then scene setup, hit extrude. Since mine is really big, I'm going to hit normal size. Then I'm going to select it right here and just, what you want to do is just go to the side and move it up. There. Now what you're going to do is go to presets, bevels, and physical and select whatever you want. Then, since mine's big again, hit normal size. Now it's right here. I want mine way more wide, so what I'm going to go is go to bevel scale. And... Just bump up the size a ton. Now what you're going to do is want to hit OK. Then here's your tiny text. This is where the null comes in handy. Go group 1. Create group null. And here, grab the null moves the text now. The text is part of that null. So go to null, sh hold sh uh, shift, uh, hold, grab the pick whip, hold shift, and do it to this null. Now it's right there. Now what you're going to want to do is rotate it till it's up. Now, it tracks to your scene. And, and if you keep going, I can see that it's not positioned correctly. Now what you're going to want to do is go to Element, Scene Setup, and Create plane then here's your plane then you're gonna move it under yours until it's on the bottom or else you'll get your text cut off hit the scale tool right here and scale it up and then you'll get this you're like what the heck so then you go to plane model, hit the texture, you press this, hit textures, go all the way to the very bottom and to advanced, then scroll down and hit matte shadow. Now if you hit OK, gone. And then what you can do now, go to ambient occlusion, hit enable, and just bump it up. Yeah, now, after that, see, there's it. If I turn this off, no, no ambient occlusion. So then you really want to turn it on, and there you go. To match it better, you could cur add curves. You can add camera lens blur and set it down to, like, 2. And that will just... Uh, match it up to your scene so that's the end of this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe bye